Hey, my name is Jonathan, and today on Internet Church, we're talking about the way community has stretched you. Oh, man, it's... <laughs> Just a little extra. <laughs> Hey, Jonathan, what's going on? Nothing, chill. Just about to go to an appointment. What's, uh, what's the appointment? Well, Justin, as you know, I've been getting older. And uh, I haven't been taking care of my body the best way that I probably should. I've pulled my hammies. I've injured my ankles. I've lately strained my back. And uh, I've been having some sciatica issues. And I'm about to go to my guy who's about to do some body work on me just now. That rubber band is to help strengthen your extenders on your forearm because we are on computers and you can get overuse injury. As weird as it is that you can get injured from typing on a keyboard. Speaking of injuries. Oh, you, you want to hear a funny story? What's that? I was standing in front of my daughter's changing table the other day and I sneezed and brother, I threw out my back and I fell to the ground right there just from a sneeze, brother. Oh my God, what does that mean? It means that I'm joining you in La Vejez. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm not old, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, dude, all right, man, I'll let you tell it. So I just, I just wanted to reiterate that in case any of you guys missed it. Jonathan just got injured from changing a diaper. No, I sneezed. <laughs> It was not through changing the diaper. Listen, it I, was through sneezing. I Googled it. I said, throwing your back out from, and it auto-filled in sneezing. So I'm not the only one, okay? That's just because Google knows how old you are now. <laughs> hey, hey, look who it is. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. How's the back feeling? Oh man, the back feels great. Feels fantastic. But now I'm so relaxed. I feel like I want to take a nap. Yeah. Feel like you want to give a sermon? Uh, well, no, I'll give a quick little thought, though, that, uh, you know, all that back stretch and that'll preach because even while I'm getting stretched, it wasn't the most comfortable thing. And there were some positions I was in. I was like, oh, yes. But at the end of it, I feel better now than I did at the start of it. And sometimes it's like that with the way the Lord stretches us, with the ways we're stretched in community. And uh, right now we're actually going to hear from some in our community in ways that the Lord and the community has stretched us, and now we're all the better for it. The gospel has stretched me beyond myself. Before I had this experience with Jesus and before I found freedom in Jesus Christ, it was always about me. So I was worried about what everyone thought about me. I really needed the opinion and the validation and everyone else to see me as good as a certain way for me to be okay. But this past year, life has been lifing in a lot of different ways and I found myself more prone to worry and anxiety and fears. And I was a people pleaser and I really cared way too much about what other people thought about me. I became a mother for the first time and with that comes its challenges. One I keep circling back to is just feeling like I'm not doing enough or being enough for Charlie. Lived much of my life believing the lie that if I expected the worst, I would never be disappointed, which just meant I was always disappointed, even if there was no reason to be disappointed. So often I've kind of set back and been hesitant to take the next step, hesitant to step out in front, hesitant to lead because I felt distrustful of what God had given me, the, the skills that he has developed in me, and I wanted to take a posture of humility, and so I've, I've held back. In stewarding work, stewarding relationships, um, stewarding my time, and it's not like I never wanted to do that, but this year has just been a really good year for doing that in a much more responsible way and in a spirit-led way so in really walking out living the unoffended life when it comes to my relationship with my new wife my family and my friends as well as the people i work with to lead my family and to love others the way that God loved the church. I think one of the most important things that I have been transformed in thinking about is the topic of love. God's love is so vast and it was never something that I thought I had. I thought it was something that I had to earn or work for. So just resting and sitting in this idea that I am completely known and fully loved by God, it's been so transformative. Basically teaching me what it means to love other people the way 
He wants me to love them. I realize that I was made for love. I enjoy being loved, but that God is love and God is infinite love. So every part of me that needs to be loved is now fulfilled by the love of God. And so I'm so full of love that I don't need that from other people. They don't owe me anything. And so I'm free to love them. Being able to love the way God loves is such a treasure. Everyone deserves to be loved properly because of their inheritance, because of who they are in Christ. I love more than I've ever loved. I have forgiven. In Jesus being my personal savior, I have become free from sin, from my own sin, but also the sin committed against me, which means that nothing that anyone can do will ever force me to hate them. And instead I have the privilege to forgive them and not hold that grudge within myself. This past year, God has been stretching me and prompting me to pause and notice the good in my days and in my circumstances, uh, more specifically notice his goodness in my days and in my circumstances. Something that I have been learning as I ask the Lord, how do I fall in love with you more and more? The answer has been by receiving his love for me, by receiving the truth that he loved me first and that will create love inside of me. So the Holy Spirit has filled my heart with his love. I am a new creation and the gospel has stretched my life by stretching my heart, by making me new, by stretching all the things, not necessarily the situations around me, but by stretching me. So now I live in peace. God has stretched my faith. I have optimism. And then also uh, trusting the promises of God that are true about me and true about reality, even when those things don't seem to be real in a way that I would want them or I would make them, but trusting that they are true. He's really been challenging me this year to, to trust that if he's called me to something, if he's set me on a path, that he has equipped me for that and he trusts me. And so just recognizing that the truth of what God says about you is the truth of what God says about me. No matter the circumstance, no matter how I feel, I am a good mother and I am completely solid in knowing that I am righteous, holy, and pure because he says that I am. Now that I'm living in freedom and I don't have to worry, it's not about me anymore because I know that I'm loved, because I know that I'm saved, because I know that I'm taken care of, that my heavenly father sees me as son. Just learning that I can position everyone the way that God sees them as free sons and daughters and not according to the flesh. I am blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. I have a peace that I could never explain I have a joy that comes from the gift of salvation. I have been given a new heart that just keeps getting stretched and stretched and stretched because Jesus lives in it and he is eternal and he never wavers. So what he speaks about me never changes and I have all of the things that I have, not because I had to strive for them. I actually used to strive for them and it was exhausting, but now because of Jesus, I don't have to strive for them. I don't have to do anything for them. Just receive his love. So now it's your turn to think things through. And in the breakout groups, you can ask this question of, how has community and the Lord stretched you this year? How are you leaving this year? Maybe a little longer and a little more limber than when you first began. We'll see you on the other side.